We just got our hands on Apple's new 2018 15-inch MacBook Pro with the top-of-the-line i9 processor and the brand new Radeon Pro Vega 20 GPU option, which is supposed to substantially improve graphics performance. So let's run some benchmarks to see how much faster it is compared to the Radeon Pro 560X graphics option. If you're wondering how to buy one for yourself, you're going to have to head to Apple's website and choose the 15-inch MacBook Pro model that starts at $27.99, and then you'll see two new options for Vega 16 graphics for $250 more and Vega 20 graphics for $350 more. We've also just got some exclusive coupons from Adorama for up to $225 off MacBook Pros with Vega graphics. To make it even better, there's no tax outside of New York and New Jersey, so you can save at least $240 on tax alone, on top of that $225 off. You'll find the links to those limited time only deals in the video description and pinned comment below, so act now before the deals are gone. Both Vega graphics options are packing 4GB of AMD's latest and greatest HBM2 memory, which is faster and more efficient than GDDR5, but we went with the more expensive Vega 20 option. We also upgraded to 32GB of RAM in the i9 6-core processor, so let's get right into the benchmark testing. Starting with Geekbench 4's OpenCL graphics test, the Vega 20 is getting a 37% better score than the 560X, which is actually seriously impressive. $350 sounds like a lot to pay, but if you're already spending close to or more than $3,000, it's worth it for this kind of performance. If you're already planning on getting 32 gigs of RAM in an i9 processor, you're only paying 10% more cash for 37% better OpenCL performance with the Vega 20 graphics option. Now running Geekbench 4's Metal Test, we're not seeing as big of an improvement, simply because the 560X scored much higher in Metal, but it's still a 23% improvement, which we think is still worth the cash. We then tested Unigen Heaven, a benchmark that uses both the processor and graphics, simulating a video gaming scenario. Here, the Vega 20 got almost twice as much FPS as the 560X with the i9 processor. Now that's an improvement we weren't expecting to see. This might be the first MacBook capable of running some of the latest video games at high graphics settings and frame rates. We then decided to install Windows 10 using Boot Camp and retest Unigen Heaven's benchmark, and we were surprised to see that the score went up to 49 FPS. Now that's a huge difference between Mac and Windows for gaming. We're definitely going to test some games out, so if you want to see that video, make sure to hit like and subscribe so you don't miss out. We were curious to see if the new models had any effect on how the i9 processor performed, so we tested Cinebench R15 CPU test. To our surprise, the MacBook with the Vega 20 graphics averaged 57 points higher than the i9 MacBook with 560X graphics. But we're not sure if that's due to software improvements or possible changes to the cooling system to accommodate the Vega graphics. We're going to be doing tons of testing, especially video editing, to see just how much the Vega 20 improves performance, so make sure to subscribe for that. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.